nasty way to go. Now we're just feeding the maggots. But what if I told you that these maggots might just help us crack this grizzly case? Forensic entomology, the study of insects in relation to death investigations, may sound niche, but it actually incorporates some very reliable methods of determining several important details about a crime scene. For example, based on the types of insects and their life stages found on or inside a cadaver, we can pinpoint the time of death, whether it was hours, days, or even months ago. True flies, with their four distinctive life stages, are ideal indicators for determining a more recent time of death. Different flies being present around a cadaver can also give us information about if the body was moved from one location to another, since different flies favour different habitats. Flies are also great for helping forensic teams identify wound sites, as these are often easier to colonise than undamaged skin. The presence and absence of certain insects on a cadaver can also tell us about the victim's bodily chemistry. For example, if the victim had suffered from being burned, drugged, or wrapped in synthetic materials. Finally, the presence of insects can help in determining whether a victim was neglected. Fecal matter, if left undisposed of, can attract specific species of flies and show that a vulnerable human was not cared for appropriately. Forensic entomology has been used in Britain since the 1930s and uh, use of insects in criminal investigations goes back even further in history. However, just as insects evolve, so do the trends in crime and therefore so must forensic entomology.